Hey there Virgo, this is going to be your monthly tarot reading for April 2017. And this will be for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Golden Universal Tarot deck for this spread. Alright, so let's just go ahead and tune into your energy Virgo for the month of April. What is your main energy this month, April 2017? Virgos. Okay, the Four of Wands. Challenge energy. What is the challenge this month for Virgos? The Ten of Cups. Suggested approach. Okay, have the Ace of Cups. Okay, focus. Where should your focus be that's going to be beneficial and helpful to you this month? Focus. The focus for Virgos. The Sun card. And the outcome. What is your outcome? The page of pentacles. All right, Virgo. So overall energy you have is the four of wands. And I will pull clarifiers at the end of the spread. But I'm getting this is a heavy focus on matters of the heart. People close to you or someone very close to you. I'm getting a lot of family energy. Children involved. Um, maybe spouses. Siblings. Parents. Something in the matters of the home, too. Home is where the heart is. So obviously, something or someone very close to you or multiple people that you're very focused on. I feel like your your energy is wanting to start a family or to solidify a commitment. I don't know if this is marriages or engagements, but I'm kind of getting that. Starting a family or building up your family, adding new additions someone is pregnant i feel um maybe wanting there's a desire for marriage or someone contemplating proposing to someone because this guy kind of looks like he's proposing or he's preparing for that the challenge is the ten of cups i feel like the challenge is actually completing this um this happy home or this perfect picture that I feel like you feel will start with extending this offer or this engagement. I feel like some type of engagement. That's what I'm getting. But there's a challenge with completing this, this perfect picture here. Like you see it, you can envision it, but for some reason it's like you are struggling with that. Um, kind of forceful. I don't know if some of you are wanting to get married because you're pregnant or the other way around. You're wanting to marry this person or propose to this person because they are pregnant. So that's possibly where the struggle comes in with the 10 of cups to be happy about building this home or feeling like it's not the right time. Something has happened. Um, wanting to build a solid foundation but unable to like you can't get it together in some way if it's not the pregnancy scenario just not the right timing your suggested approach however is i'm getting to i'm just hearing to pray about it but spirit's trying to offer some type of redemption here or some type of um healing or some type of spiritual awareness and insight about this because I feel like you're a little bit stressed about it. Whatever the situation is for you, it's all going to be different. But Spirit's telling you to be open and receptive to what they're trying to give to you. Be open. Be open-hearted about the situation and not to fret or stress out over it. Your focus is the sun card. So focusing on the positive. If there's a child involved... They're wanting you to focus on that child and the blessing that it will bring, okay? There's a new addition to the family, whether it be 
you proposing to someone or that person proposing to you and you adding them into your family, there's definitely some type of new beginning and to focus on the positives of the situation, only focus on a positive outcome. It's kind of hard for you to be in a positive place for whatever reason you're struggling to stay in that space. The outcome is the page of pentacles. So there's some sort of offer that is coming practical, tangible offer that's coming. Um, so I'm going to pull clarifiers, the lovers. So definitely there's some major decisions and choices surrounding the heart or in a love relationship, but you're being divinely guided, divinely led with Archangel, um, I believe it's Archangel Gabriel in the background. You have the divine messenger behind you, protecting you and guiding you with this major decision that you feel like you need to make. There will be a victory. There's going to be a success out of this. There's going to be a successful outcome, whatever the effort is, whatever you're striving towards with the four of wands, with this stability, this happy um, home life or this reconciliation it also seems like there's gonna be something successful in it i don't feel like it's nothing to stress over especially if you follow divine guidance and allow spirit to work with you and help you and you stay focused on the positive things will definitely move in the right direction by following divine energy to find following divine spirit this is usually, this is the number, I believe, the chariots, um, the seventh major arcana. So that's divine energy, number seven, divine orchestration. And I have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like it will be reciprocated. doesn't have to be romantic. It could be you trying to bring the family together or you trying to reconcile, uh, reconcile with another person that's important to you or offering something. I feel like it will be reciprocated or will be exchanges back and forth, emotional exchanges. So I feel like there's going to be a success as long as you stay determined and you move with spirit, allow divine spirit to help you, God, your angels, your spiritual guides, your higher self, stay connected, stay positive. Look at the blessing, okay, behind all of this. Choose wisely, follow your heart with this decision, know that you're divinely protected in whatever you choose and there will be a victory, okay? All right, you guys, so that's your reading Virgo for this month. I do hope that you'll find this helpful and beneficial for you and that it brings you much clarity and insight. And as always, I'm sending much love to you. Until next month, peace.